but for the longest time, I'm always trying to tell my dad that you're not alone in this life. I know you're the man of the household, but you have God, right? Like, let him take your stress. He's got you. And my dad looks at me like I'm gibberish. This is for the longest time. Um, so lately, he's been struggling with work because he works for the union. And the problem with that is that if he doesn't get enough hours because it's been so inconsistent, our family loses our health insurance, and that's always in the back of his head. So a couple of days ago, he was mentally hitting rock bottom because there was no work in sight. And I remember I said, Dad, listen to me. I walked up to his car. I said, this is a moment where I tell you, you have no control and to surrender to God. This is a perfect moment for God to show you who he is if you acknowledge him and if you allow him and if you trust him. And you know, my dad kind of looked at me again like I was crazy, like, okay, I don't want to hear it. So last night I went to church and I'm like, Dad, you want to go with me? He's like, no, I can't. And I'm like, let's go. So we went and the message is literally about prayer. Exactly what I told him. Sometimes you don't have control. That's when you go to God in faith, in bold faith and trusting. And basically he was kind of like new to it. And I said, let's go up to get prayer. He didn't want to. So I brought a man to him to pray. And, you know, he was teary eyed. So I know he felt God. And I know he needed that too, to let out his emotions to God, you know. So then, today he just tells me, he's like, you know, I think the prayers might have worked. He got a phone call today, and he said, I never got a phone call like this in my life in terms of work. The man he was talking to said there was another guy from a job in a big position that was just leaving. And he offered my dad two years of steady work and the highest paying rate. My dad had tears in his eyes and he was like, I can't believe it. And I was like, I knew it. I'm like, that's what I'm telling you. And it's like all this stuff I kept repeating to him again. But what I said, surrender to God, like he's got you. Like God is Jehovah Jireh and he's going to provide. Like he was looking at me like he literally knew what I was talking about now. And guys, that's why it's so important to be a light for your family or when everybody calls you crazy. Because when you know who God is, you being obedient to him and praying to him, even when everything around you looks crazy, even when people around you think you're crazy. Guys, God is good and he provides. Let that be your message tonight.